As you all know, the nervous system is the system of our body which gives us the ability to sense. The neurons are the structural and functional unit of nervous system. They have evolved during the Cambrian explosion about almost 500 million years ago. This is the structure of the neuron showing the dendrites, nucleus, cell body, axons and synaptic terminals. In nidarians like hydra and jellies, they have the simplest type of nervous system. Like in hydras, the interconnected neurons form a net like structure which is called a nerve net. These are neurons, they are being interconnected and they will form a net like structure that will called nerve net and nerve net controls the contraction and expansion of gastrovascular cavity in the nidarians. In more complex animals like in starfish, they have the more complex type of nervous system and axon of multiple neuron together forming nerve. And here, radial nerve from each arm connecting to a central nerve ring, which receives input and sends signals to control the muscle contraction. Animals with bilaterally symmetrical elongated body, like in planaria, they have specialized nervous system. There you could see the cephalization. Cephalization aids are clustering of sensory neurons and interneurons at the anterior end of the body. It is the brain and the anterior neurons communicate with cells all over the body. And there is the nerve cords and there are turnwards nerves. And their nervous system is divided into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. In C. elegans, in adult C. elegans, they have exactly 302 neurons, not more or less than it. More complex invertebrates such as segmented worms like arthropods, they have many more neurons they have the more complex type of nervous system and there you can see the presence of ganglia. They have a complicated brain, they have ventral nerve cord that regulate the behavior that is the brain, that is the ventral nerve cord which regulates the behavior and they have ganglia which is segmentally arranged clusters of neurons that is the ganglion. In the mollusk, the nervous system organization correlates with its lifestyle. For example, in sedentary mollusks like chiton, they have more simple type of nervous system. Like you can see here, they have very simple sense organ. They have little or no cephalization. There you can find that anterior nerve ring, ganglia, and longitudinal nerve cords while in case of active and predatory molars like squids, octopus, they have most of sophisticated type of nervous system. Here you can find large eyes, brain with millions of neurons that is the brain, that is the ganglia, and they can distinguish between visual patterns. They have the ability to perform complex tasks. 
in case of vertebrates the brain is the most developed part of a vertebrate and here it is divided into two parts in central nervous system or and as peripheral nervous system the central nervous system is composed of brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system is composed of nerves and the ganglions here you can see that brain spinal cord and these are the sensory ganglions 